what's up youtube back at it again with another toy review um on my sorry that it's been taking me so long to do this video but just some stuff has come up um in my last video i originally said i was going to do a review on diamond head and i have not broken that promise as a matter of fact i have him with me right now out of the packaging already but um it took a while because i got caught up in other things and by the time I realized I needed to do this video, I had already gotten my hands on Stinkfly, as you can see him right there still in this packaging. So if you hear any noise in the background, that's me just putting Diamond Head back in the packaging just for, um, you know, practicality's sake. Um, today we're going to be doing two figures at the same time. We have Stinkfly, and then we have Diamond Head. Now you can tell that I just put him back in the package because this thing's kind of... I don't know if you can see that's broken. I, I've already taken them out of the packaging, but yeah, we're just gonna do two. We're just gonna do these two figures today, and hopefully next time I will do upgrade, and after that possibly Humongosaur and Cannonbolt if they come through. Um, let's do let's do Diamond Head first because he's already out of the packaging. Okay, so. Let's so here's the diamond that's straight out of the packaging already, and he looks pretty cool. I just want to say again how I love the show accurateness between the Playmates figures for the reboot series. These they get, these guys are doing a really great job in taking these designs and making them into nice fun toys. Okay, so let's really just jump in here. We have two figures to cover, so let's just jump on in here with right here. So Diamond Head comes with this crystal sword accessory, which pretty much just you just slip it onto his arm and i say slip and not pop because it's kind of like this thing kind of like wedge in there doesn't mine doesn't really fit well on mine it's really loose i don't know if that's how it's supposed to be or um if mine was just crafted a little poorly i don't know anyway here's diamond head paint wise he's looking pretty sharp um, I like the way they've been utilizing this translucent plastic. Yeah, sorry, he had something on his chin. It looks very show accurate, very detailed, nice. They're very um nicely detailed. See the Omnitrix symbol right there. Articulation-wise, 360 degrees rotation. Um, shoulder, the shoulders move up and down. They're kind of um prevented from going all the way up because of. The way the torso is designed. Other than that, um, what's, I want to call this biceps swivel, bicep rotation. Biceps move up and down. Again, they could do more, but these these designs are in the way. And the translucent plastic kind of has. If you, I don't, the camera catches this, but um, you can see where the joints connect and move in the figure, and that's kind of cool. Like I thought that was very interesting to see notice. Um, wrist rotation, uh, torso rotation, um, the legs move out, bend back in this much, bending at the knee, and swiveling at the leg, and the lower leg. So that's pretty much it with this figure. When I first got it, I was a bit disappointed because I, by the articulation, because I thought that, um, they were going to do so much more with this figure in terms of that. But it is definitely an improvement, you know? Like, I like the way it's crafted, the shape, and the mold is nice. Um, again, the translucent plastic, it especially catches the way how Diamond Head would look different in certain lights and certain colors. Like, he has this kind of turquoise, turquoise bluish, greenish color going. And growing up, it was kind of hard for me to figure out what color he was, but... This translucent plastic kind of really captures all of those at once, and I really appreciate that. And it kind of just makes them fun to look at and fun to play with. Alright, so let's move on to Stinkfly. Stinkfly with flying zipline. Oh joy. Okay, so um, let's see what we have here. The packaging looks pretty nice. It's the same standard packaging we've been getting for all the reboot series Ben 10. On the back of the package, P.U., this flying insect is the smelliest alien of all. Stinkfly is quick and agile, but don't be fooled, he's not just speedy. He can also shoot streams of gross fluid that can choke and blind his enemies. Choke and blind. 
Okay, so let's get him out of the let's get him out of the packaging. I will say, despite his hit or miss design, Stinkfly has to be probably one of the most comical relief in the show. It's a pity they got rid of him and moved him to Jet Ray, but you know, it, but in a way, it kind of isn't a bad thing since I kind of prefer Jet Ray better than Stinkfly as a Ben 10 flying alien. And the toy itself is a lot smaller than I realized. That as I was watching, looking at reviews for the figure online, I realized right off the bat that a lot of people were using this figure to say that these toys were smaller than than they thought. Now that I have Stinkfly out of the package, I can see exactly what they were talking about. I mean, he'll be cool to have in stop motion and collection and custom, but that's probably just about it. I probably wouldn't like buy this for someone like a, a kid or like my brother or something for, to like play or something i can only imagine just you know the struggle it would be to play with it is like it's like this figure is too small to play with i don't know um pain app again look pretty good decent um stink fly is um He's kind of reminded me of my Accelerate in terms of where they got the basic generic patterns and design for Stinkfly. But at the same time, they could have done better. And instead of him looking like the character, he kind of looks like this. Um, I don't want to say a jumbled abomination, but it's, look at these teeth. See this? See this? No. 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 I didn't realize that this Stinkfly had the detachable wings hold on yeah it i guess it came out of that with the box though from the look on the box i don't see what the issue would have been in just you know just selling putting it in like this i guess so they don't get damaged speaking of stinks flies wings stink fly has a gimmick basically he's got this goo splatter thingy and what you do is like you stick it to a wall or something and um, you can use it as a zip line to kind of simulate the day from flying. I might do this at the end of the review, but let's just look at his articulation really quickly. Um, articulation wise, Stinkfly isn't really, he's not, he's hit or miss. I like on a rate of scale of 10, a scale of one to 10, I give it a seven, a solid seven or a six maybe. I don't know, this whole not, ha he's the first figure I've had my hands on that isn't where the ball joint doesn't come up. Oh, it does it? Yeah, it wants to, but it, it doesn't. It doesn't. 360 degree rotation, though, like most of these figures. Arm, shoulder, I don't know what you're going to call this. Shoulders up and down like this. Um, bicep um, bending here. Um, he's one of those figures where you have to kind of rotate the um, joints at a specific position so you get the best joint work out of it. They also swivel, same thing with the wrists. Um, waist rotation, that's something you new, know, something different. Um, legs go all, he has the nice leg range, to be honest. Knees bend and, oh, and legs also swivel. Same thing with the knees, yeah, knees swivel right here. All in all, basically a basic, basic figure. And if you can already tell, I enjoyed posing this figure and putting in different poses and stuff. Like, this figure was just... Uh, it's more for collector's item, if you ask me. Like, I wouldn't buy this for a kid as so much as I would buy it to put on my shelf and just look cool. That's kind of what it's designed for, in my opinion. Let's compare them to the size with Diamond Head. They said most of these figures are, um, five inches or so. Let's see what it looks like with Diamond Head. So, you know, basically, um, basically they're okay, you know. Diamond Head's slightly bigger than Stinkfly, but, you know, they're within scale, though. Those wings do add in, like, some size proportions, though. Okay, so there's Stinkfly, there's Stinkfly right there mounted on the zip line. As you can already see, um, as you can already see, this thing does work pretty well. This suction cup thing doesn't really work well unless you have like a really flat surface. So as you can see, my thing is on the glass of my window. Stinkfly itself as a figure though is not a bad buy. Um, I'd highly recommend it if you're collecting. Probably not if, you, if you're buying it for like 
like as a gift for someone like or like a little kid's birthday or something like that but other than that he's a great figure and I'm gonna enjoy having him for my collection and he's just he's a, he seems pretty cool you know yeah so thank you guys for watching my video please be able please be sure to like and subscribe I also have not given up on making AMV videos. I will have more of those underway and some other new interesting videos I hope you guys like. At this point, it's honestly just about, you know, just posting whatever and then just, you know, hopefully. I'm just having fun at this point as with the Stinkfly and my YouTube channel. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I'll, again, like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you again next time.